I'm Vicki Cannon from the Wedding Cafe. We're ready to start another Wednesday night workshop. Tonight is our music and entertainment showcase and brides are going to love this workshop. We have four DJs and three entertainment companies tonight and they are going to rock your socks with the perfect sound selection for your wedding. If you're watching this at home, feel free to log into www.theweddingcafe.net to watch all of our Wednesday night workshops. Thank you so much for coming. Introduce yourselves. Uh, well, uh, I am Curtis Camilla. And I am Annie Camilla. And we are Mango Season. <laughs> What's up? What's up? All right. Now you have the same last name. Can we ask you the question? Please. Are you please married? Do. We are definitely we are. married. <laughs> we are actually That's married. Yes, sorry. You are actually married. Okay, tell us how you guys met and how you started playing together. You want to tell? Sure. So we, um, I said, no, we met in college. Uh, we were both theater majors, and we were cast in the same play. So uh, we, were, we played uh, people who were in love. And, well, uh, I was in love with you, but you weren't in love with me. In the play. Oh, in the play, in the play, in the play, in the play. What That's play right. was it? In, in real life, he was uh, really It was a play called The Seagull, Chekhov. The Seagull. Seagull. It was, it was kind of like a Seagull. The seagull, like, like, oh, like a Seagull. Okay. Seagull. Yeah, so it was very like, uh, it was a really dramatic play. There was a lot of crying. So uh, f for us, that was, uh, that's how we fell in love. Actually, she had just, I had kind of a small role, and she had just broken up with the lead actor in this play. Like, Whoa. this guy was good looking, too. He was oh, yeah? like, yeah, like Hapa that's Filipino guy. <laughs> what college was this? <laughs> University of Puget Sound. Wow. It's in Washington. Very neat. So, anyway, okay. so that's where we met. We had to sing together for that play. We got to know each other. And, uh, yeah, we fell in love. And is it true you got married on that stage also? It is true, yeah. So we, this is about maybe seven or eight years later. Uh, we were trying to figure out a venue, yeah. and nothing seemed to work for us in Seattle. And we're like, why don't we just go back to the place where we met? We were married by um, the director who cast us in that play. Wow. Who was a, a real mentor for us. So it was, a, it was awesome. <laughs> That is awesome. Okay. It was awesome. It was. It was the best day of my life. <laughs> yeah, I started, actually, I started blubbering and crying. Uh, you said that this Yeah, yeah, you. you had the I, ugly I, cry. I fully couldn't, like, I couldn't get together. A good two minutes, I'm like... Oh, it's okay. so embarrassing, okay. right? I okay, I love you so much. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, on that She's note... She's like, Curtis, get it together. Curtis, get it together. On that note, okay, now I know your, your tag is like Island Soul Jazz. Okay, tell us what Island Soul Jazz is and can you play us a snippet of what you mean by that? Um, this is an original piece. So okay. Do a little, a little feel of what it is. Lovers will wander under the cover of night. Gather up all the starlight, heard in a whisper. Music will play on the sea and collect at their feet. And they look to the sky, discover what I once knew In my dreams of you, I'll be seeing a Lonnie Kaimo Yay! Sounds okay, like I know everyone's dying to know, Annie, what was that you were playing, like feathering around? What was that? In my hand. Yeah, what it's is a, that? It's a shaker. A lot of people use them in the studio. Um, oh. 
uh, I got, so I'm mostly a singer. I just picked up percussion maybe six months ago and the feedback I was getting all the time was I was on stage is I like to dance. <laughs> and I like to move around, and so Kurt was like, why don't you put something in your hands so it looks useful? <laughs> oh, yeah. You, I mean, you looked really natural. I said it way like, okay, nicer than that. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> you look really natural dancing with the shaker. I really like that. Okay, Better Curtis, be define island yeah. soul jazz for us. What do you mean by that? Uh, we, do a lot of, um, we do a lot of jazz, kind of uh, Ella Fitzgerald is a, is a big influence for Annie. Uh, uh, Etta James, old jazz like that, jazz vocalists. We uh -huh. do a lot of... Uh, Soul, 70s soul, like Al Green and stuff like that. We also play a lot of island music, so uh, Kalapana, CNK, um, Olamana, stuff like that. Okay. So that's, that's it's, so it's, it's those three things together. So just kind of all of that together. Yeah, and that's, that's what we do. That's our specialty. We, we, can, we can play all kinds of styles, but that's, okay. that's how we describe what we do. Okay. Give us a piece of uh, wedding advice, a music tip. I think, well, it was, it was said a little bit earlier, but I think a really, really good tip is um, oftentimes, um, and I think Milo alluded to this, you know, sometimes you don't necessarily know um, all the songs that you want, all the special songs you want for processional or recessional or cake cutting or all those different things. And um, we definitely tell our couples that um, uh, we can find for them kind of the same thing, a, a list of songs that we play, not necessarily... Um, from a, a listserv, but um, that we play often, and we'll give them recommendations for all these different um, moments in the in the evening. Yeah, a lot of times people the don't. Day. They know that they love a certain style, but they can't quite name any. So we just we hand ten or fifteen songs. Okay, like, so hey, if we say like we really like. want jazz, sure. what would you play for us? Uh, okay, we would we, probably play. At last. You want a little snippet of that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yes. With the shaker. Is that the point here? That's. The point. <laughs> Now, what if we wanted jazz, say, for cocktail hour, where you want something a little bit more upbeat? Do you do that also? Uh, yeah, totally. Um, let's give you a, a taste of that. Okay. Well, it's a marvelous night for a moment With the stars up above in your eyes A fantabulous night to be romance Need the cover of the sky. Sky. Well, the leaves on the trees are falling to the sound of the breezes and breezes And I'm trying to place the call of your heartstring that plays soft and low. You know the light's magic seems to whisper and hush. You know the song moonlight seems to shine. should ask a musician before booking their live entertainment for their wedding? Let me take that. I can take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, you know, um, well, this is a, a bit of advice. Uh, uh, a lot of times uh, there are four kind of different phases in a, in a wedding that music really works in. 
Uh, the first would be like this, the ceremony, actually, when you do your vows uh, at the site, wherever that is. Uh, a cocktail reception. Most people have kind of a cocktail reception, so that's uh, another, another time that you can have music. There's uh, a dinner time, generally, and then, you know, dance party after that. And so a good thing is to think about, well, what among these times, what do I want? When do I want a DJ? When do I want music? What's the feel? Um, you know, so I, I would, our advice is to think about that, and those are kind of the ways that most people do it, and, okay. and it works really well that way. Okay. So think about the four different phases of the wedding, and yeah. then we come to you with questions about yeah, like, those phases, or we say, this is where we want live music, this is where we want DJ. Yeah, okay. totally. Or maybe DJ takes over for dance party or whatever, and we can fit in in any way that you want us to. So maybe give us one question that bride and groom should ask when they are meeting with a live entertainment company. Um, in addition to that. Yeah. In addition to that. Yeah. Um, I, I think that... Um, um, Oh, what was I thinking about earlier? Um, I think amplification, I mean, um, people have talked about it earlier, but I definitely think like kind of understanding what type of amplification you're going to need at each phase of, of, of where you're going to be, ceremony, if the ceremony's at a beach, if the ceremony's inside, if the ceremony's uh, outdoors. Um, uh, gosh, I had one other thought. What was the other thought we were thinking about? That's the one. Oh, that's the one. Uh, yeah, like what, what, what are the options for amplification? Okay. What can yeah, you yeah. do to help out Got it. to make sure that people are heard? Okay. All right. Now, what if we have a specific song we want sung for our wedding? Do you guys learn a song, and is it free? Is there a charge? Yeah, we do two songs. We learn up to two songs, and it's, it's included in the price. Two songs um, not on our kind of standard yeah, set list. Okay. Yeah. Which can we you give you. us an example of a song that you've learned for a wedding? Yeah, we learned um, our... Uh, Actually, our drummer got married not too long ago. Yeah. Uh, we learned something for him called uh, Let's Stay Together. Yeah. Okay. The song Let's Stay Together. Can you do a snippet? Or? Uh, let's do it. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. <laughs> let's go for it. Bring out the shaker. I like that, that shaker. Hit that, uh, hit that tambourine, baby. That's the best part. I'll hit it when I'm ready to hit it, Curtis. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 When the times are 